According to the U.S. Department of Defense, nearly 3,000 military spouses have lost a companion in the global war on terror. One local woman knows exactly what that's like. At only 26 years old, she's dedicated her life to helping other widows who have faced the same fate. I love the letters from the widows since they're the reason that I'm still here. They drape the walls of Taryn Davis's small East Austin office. They're a reminder of the common death each of them have faced and the strength of their survival. When you hear widow, I mean, for me, I thought of this 90-year-old woman with 100 cats surrounding her who lives in a cave. I, I never envisioned someone like me. She was only 21 when her husband died in the war in Iraq. Thousands of military widows look like her, young, full of promise. The average age of service members killed in Iraq and Afghanistan is 26. Those statistics form new perceptions of the word widow. We've definitely put military widows on the map, which is obviously one of our goals. We wanted to kind of smash the stigma of what people think when you think of widow. The American Widow Project grabs the attention from media outlets around the world. CNN's heroes in the Today Show have highlighted the group, but getting there wasn't easy. First, Taryn hit rock bottom. I knew that I at least had to try to live for Michael until I could find a reason to live for myself. An idea was sparked as she looked for a way to connect with other military widows. It all started about three months after Michael was killed and I googled widow. And when Google came back with, did you mean window? You know, it really reinforced that there was a definite need. For the past several years, Davis has traveled the country and organized small peer support gatherings to help women who lost the one they've loved most in the war. Activities like skydiving and zip lining help reignite the light Davis says has faded from many of their eyes. We bring them together in an intimate setting where they're not a statistic, there's no more than 10 to 15, and allow them to see that they can survive and that they can thrive after this. Now, continuing in her passion, she has plans to bring American widows from around the country here to Central Texas for a new program called Widow You, giving them the tools they need to thrive. A place where they can be proud of their title and see that there is life after death, that there is triumph into, you know, in tragedy, and uh, there's so much that they can do with the cards that they've been dealt. Becoming heroes themselves, helping one another through healing. You can help the American Widow Project provide resources toward a healing journey by making a donation. They're also in need of volunteers for their gatherings. For more information on how you can get involved or to refer a military widow you know, visit AmericanWidowProject.org. For Life in Action, I'm Jennifer Bourget.